This is From Nothing to Gloves with Profitable Trade-Ups, the series where I started with zero dollars and will be using nothing but profitable trade-ups to get myself a pair of gloves. If you missed any of the previous episodes, make sure to check those out, but to quickly recap, our goal is set at $1,500 to get ourselves a pair of factory new Imperial plaid gloves to go with the rest of my purple loadout. By the way, I'm giving away this Huntsman Life lore when we hit 20,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, make sure to stick around and watch the whole video to find out what this week's giveaway is and the instructions to enter. We ended the last episode with $31.86. Let's get into the trade-ups. The last episode didn't quite go as planned. We didn't hit the outcome we were hoping for and ended up losing some money, so we're going to start things out today with a nearly no-risk trade-up to hopefully build our balance back up. Today's first trade-up consists of three Stat Trek Factory New and seven Stat Trek Minimal Wear Restricted Skins from the Gamma 2 case below a .07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Stat Trek Factory New skins below a 0.029 float and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the Stat Trek Factory new skins for $3.73 or less and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins for $1.50 or less. This trade-up costs $21.69 and has a 118.58% profitability after Steam fees with a two-thirds chance to profit each time. Even though the Sid Mead is technically a loss, it's not much. But of the two profit outcomes, the Fuel Injector is the best at over $13 of profit. Alright boys, first trade-up of the day. We're hoping we have Gaben's luck on our side today. Show us the Tech 9 fuel ejector right here. Last episode did not go great. Today will be different. Three, two, one, boom. Uh, it's all right. 66 cents in the profit. We will take that. It's not a loss. We didn't get the Sid made, so we're not too upset, but we do want to see a fuel injector here. Two more of these to go. Let's see it. Before I continue, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated trading bot site that allows you to quickly and easily exchange your skins at a fair price. Simply log in through Steam, add your trade URL, and you're good to go. And if you use my code, you'll actually get two bonuses on the site. You'll get up to $5 completely for free on your first trade and you'll also have a permanent 35% deposit bonus anytime you add balance on the site. Best of all, under the freebies tab, Skins Monkey is always running daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways so even if you don't have any skins, Skins Monkey is the website for you. So if you'd like to check them out, the link is in the description below. Alright, trade up number two. There's not much to say, man. We just really want to see that fuel injector. It's the only big profit outcome here. $13.12 of profit. Can we please see it, Gavin? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, another airlock. Not quite what we'd like to see. Um, let's do one more of these though. Please give us the fuel injector. Trade up number three for this first contract. Give us a freaking fuel injector right now. Three, two, one, boom. Ah, oh, three airlocks in a row. What are the odds of that? That is crazy. Um, I mean, we can't be too upset. We didn't lose any money, but we're not really gaining a lot either. Uh, yeah, let's move on. All right, boys, if you watched the last episode, you know that at the end, I completely swore off risky trade-ups for today's episode, but that was in the heat of the moment after a tough loss. I thought about it and realized there's no fun in that, so we're going to continue to risk it. This trade-up consists of five Stat Trek Minimal Wear Restricted Skins from the Breakout Case and five Stat Trek Minimal Wear Restricted Skins from the Fracture Case below a point 0.0933 average float. Make sure to get each of the breakout inputs for $2.84 or less and the fracture inputs for $1.47 or less. This trade-up costs $21.55 total and has a small 103.2% profitability after steam fees with a one-third chance to profit each time. The Stat Trek Factory new Glock 18 Water Elemental is the chase item here at over $25 of profit. All right, Gaben, I know I said I'd stop taking risks, but that's not what's happening today. With any stroke of luck, this could be amazing. Just show us the Glock water elemental. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're burning a Cato 15 sticker right here. Fanatic Cato 15. So hopefully we'll get the sticker luck. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, that's okay. That's profit. $3.62 of profit. We have a one in six chance of hitting any of these skins. So we're not too upset. Two of them are profitable. This one is the second best outcome. Let's see if we can hit a water elemental though. All right, Gaben, you blessed us with the conspiracy. Now just show us that Glock. Three, two, one, boom. Another conspiracy, back to back conspiracies. Wow, I mean, we'll take that. We can't be upset by that. Profit and then profit. All right, let's do one more of these. Gaben, you blessed us with the conspiracies. Show us the Glock. Three, two, one, boom. 
Another conspiracy. What are the odds? Back to back to back airlocks followed by back to back to back conspiracies. What is this, man? That is absolutely insane. I mean, we can't be upset. All right, boys, this week I'm giving away a Stat Trek Minimal Wear M4A1S Basilisk. To enter, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite holiday is. Mine is probably Christmas just because I always get to see my whole family. But I'm also pretty excited for Easter this year since Claude and I are doing an Easter knife giveaway. So make sure you go enter that. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, just make sure to have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. But make sure you don't skip a step or else you won't be entered. Let's do one more trade up and see what we get our balance to today. Honestly, the last trade up went way better than expected, so I think it's time to test our luck once more. Last episode, we did two attempts for the Stat Trek Factory New M4A1S Nightmare and missed them both. So today, I'm exacting my revenge. This next contract consists of three Stat Trek Factory New and seven Stat Trek Minimal Wear Restricted Skins from their Horizon case below 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Stat Trek Factory New skins below 0.028 float and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins below 0.088 float. Make sure to get the Stat Trek Factory New skins for $6.94 or less and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins for $3.26 or less. This trade up costs $43.64 total and has a 132.01% profitability after Steam fees with a 33.33% chance to profit each time. If we miss, we can only afford to do one of these trade ups. But that's not an option. So we need luck to be on our side so we can hit the Stat Trek Factory new M4A1S Nightmare for over $70 of profit right now. Boys, there's not much left to say. We just need to see the M4 right here. Gaben, bless us now in three, two, one, boom. Let's go, baby. We actually hit it. Let's go. Insane, brother. Oh, huge relief. Oh, let's go, dude. Such a nice skin to Stat Trek Factory New M4 Nightmare. And you know what? I think we're going to do two more of these just because of that. Since we just hit this, maybe we can hit back to back. That would be insane. All right. After hitting that, we're now sitting at just over $110 in the balance, something like that, maybe around 115. So we cannot complain, but can we hit it back to back? That would be absolutely insane. We hit the first three outcomes in a row. We hit the airlock three times in a row. Then we hit the conspiracy three times in a row. Can we please see the nightmare again? Three, two, one, boom. Ah, uh, unfortunate. It's all right though. Cannot complain after hitting that for $70 of profit. That was quite insane. And just to end off the video, we'll do one more attempt for the M4. Final attempt of the video. If we hit this, we'll be sitting at somewhere around $170 in the balance, which would be insane. If we miss it, I think we'll be at just under 100. So still a good episode either way, but we obviously want to see profit. 33% chance, show us the M4. In five, four, Three, two, one, and four. Ah, oh, unfortunate, man. Cannot complain, though. We hit one out of three this time around for the M4. Not bad at all. Let me just quickly do some math and see how much we're sitting at in the balance. All right, boys, after hitting this bad boy right here, we're now sitting at $86.60 in the balance. Kind of a little bit unfortunate because we hit the two other bad outcomes after, so it ruined our profits a bit, but we can't be upset, dude. We started at like $31, $32. We're now sitting at more than double that, so that's a great way to end the episode so you really can't complain i will definitely be seeing you guys in episode 7 for hopefully even more profits and now we have a bit higher of a bankroll so we can go for some riskier and more expensive trade-ups i'll catch you guys in the next one and as always thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below. 